I've been doing a lot of traveling recently and I realized that my bag is too heavy. So I wanted to do something about it. So in a video whose theme is thin and lightweight should have a laptop that's thin, lightweight, and powerful. I figure that makes sense. So I do wanna give a thank you to LG for sponsoring this video, and I'll talk a little bit about the LG Gram 17. Lightness obviously being the key. This is a 17 inch computer that feels like the battery is not even installed in it. But that's not true, because you're gonna get 19 and a half hours of battery life but you're not sacrificing anything on the display front. It's 2560 by 1600, so images look great. The aspect ratio is 16 by 10, so if you edit photos, it's perfect for that. This has all the ports I think that anybody could really need right now. It's even got a full-size HDMI port, it's got USB Type-C, it's got a headphone jack and USB-A ports all built in, so you don't have to worry about carrying extra stuff with you. Keyboard's super comfortable. It's got an integrated fingerprint reader into the power button, so you make sure things are secure with Windows Hello support. You can also spec it up really well. Ours has an i7 and 16 gigs of RAM and a 500 gigabyte SSD, so you're not sacrificing any sort of power for the portability. You want something that gives you a really nice size screen that's lightweight with pretty killer battery life and all the ports you can need. The LG Gram is going to be an awesome way to go. If you want to check it out, link to it down below. So I'm trying to lighten the load for everything that I'm carrying. And I've been using an in-case bag for years because it just held everything and it did an awesome job. When I emptied it, I realized how heavy the bag itself actually was. So I wanted to fix that. I went with the Air Day Pack. Figure the company's called Air. It had to be light. It feels really durable, which was important for all the traveling that I'm doing. It's got a kind of a coated exterior, so if you live in a place where it rains or there's a lot of moisture in the air, your stuff will be protected. And also, it's, it's harder than you might think to find a bag that can hold a 17-inch laptop, and the Air Day Pack does it nice and easily, and because the gram's so light, you don't even know what's in there. It holds everything that I need, and most importantly, crazy, crazy lightweight. So on all these flights I've been taking, I've been watching a lot of video. I've been a loyal follower and fan of Bose for years. The QZ35s were always my jam and always what I used when I traveled and when I was at home, but they're still micro USB and I kind of wanted to limit the amount of cables I was bringing, so I wanted something that used USB Type-C. And I know everybody's super excited about the Sony headphones. I really like the aesthetic of Microsoft Surface headphones, so that's what I've been using. They do a couple things really well. First, I think they look awesome. The sound quality has been really good. Noise canceling when I'm on an airplane, I don't hear anything else around me. I like that I can control the amount of noise canceling too just by turning the ear cup and then turn the other ear cup to control the volume. They don't pack down as small as something like the Bose did, but they're not heavy. So they might take up a decent amount of room in the bag, but they're not adding a significant amount of weight to what I've been used to. Another cool thing that they do, instead of just telling you how much battery percentage you have left, they'll actually tell you how many hours of listening you have left. So you turn them on, it'll say, you've got 15 hours of battery life remaining. That's been nice when I'm on a flight, because I don't know what 50% necessarily means that that's gonna get me five hours or six hours. The Surface headphones are 350 bucks, which is definitely expensive, but it is price comparable so to the other high-end noise-canceling wireless headphones. So if you're in the market for headphones, you want that premium look, but also you want sort of noise canceling you can control, Surface headphones are a really good way to go. So as I was going through and sort of packing my travel bag, I realized, probably like you, I pack a lot of electronics and things that need power, and I don't always have outlets with me wherever I'm going, and that's where this comes into play. It's the ChargeTech portable power outlet that has 40,000 milliamp hours of power. It's got a full like AC jack you can just plug normal things into. It's not the smallest thing in the world, but it's got ports for everything. I can pretty much charge everything in my bag at once with this. So if you're traveling internationally and you're worried about maybe some adapters, or if I'm just sitting at you know my kid's soccer practice and I'm trying to do work at the same time, so it's 329 bucks, and this is something that I would bring if you wanna be able to charge everything with you and maybe you don't have access to power outlets. It has been an incredible thing to have, and 40,000 milliamps, it can just, it can charge everything. So 
Swallow stuff has been awesome for travel. It's light and portable. When I get back, I still need to use the same setup. I like to have an external mouse. I've been using some version of the MX Master for years. Recently, I'm transitioning over to the MX Master Vertical. It feels weird to like almost shake hands with your mouse and kind of relearn how to use it. Um, but I've had some carpal tunnel syndrome issues for a while. I've even tried mice that have kind of roll balls to get around it. And the vertical mouse does a nice job of sort of giving me the functionality of like a normal MX Master mouse, but also making sure my wrist isn't going to hurt. And also battery life has been awesome on it. And keeping with the theme of USB-C everything, you can charge this via USB-C. It's a hundred bucks, so it's not the most expensive in the world. I've absolutely loved using the MX vertical mouse. So the LG Gram obviously has a keyboard built in, but when I'm at home, I like to have an external keyboard. It just gives me more functionality. And my go-to for a while has been the Logitech Craft. So it's sturdy. It offers a lot of functionality too. If it's got all the keys for both Mac and PC, it's got that dial up top, which I've used just for volume, but also you can customize what it does. So I've got it set to turn to adjust volume. You can press it, take screenshots. It can adjust what it does depending on different apps you're using. You can pair it with different devices. Everything I've needed a keyboard to do, the Craft has done for me. The key throw feels good. It offers flexibility depending on what OS I'm using at the time. And also I really like being able to have quick access controls to volume. The Craft has been awesome. So pricing kind of ranges. I've seen it go as low as 180 bucks depending on when you buy. We'll link to it also down below. So because the Grams got that huge 17 inch screen, I decided to not opt for an external monitor, but I did want to raise it up so it was more at eye level. So there are stands you could pick. I wanted one that was going to look awesome. So we went with the stand from Johan. It's 160 or 180 bucks, depending on what color wood you decide to go with. But it looks incredible. It makes the laptop look like it's floating. It can do double duty also as a stand for your tablet, but it'll raise up the screen and I don't know, honestly, it'll just look good doing it. I've always wanted power in my setup, but more and more recently as I've traveled, portability has been key. So a bunch of products here, some are good to take with you all the time, some for very specific situations, and some that are best left at home. But hopefully there's something in this video that's gonna help make your travel easier, make your bag lighter, and make you ultimately just more productive.